Okay, class, today we're going to finish up the uh, six on six saddle. Uh, we're just going to call this step three. We've already did step one and two. Uh, basically, what we're going to do is uh, explain uh, how we got our pattern as we did in step two. We drew the uh, ordinance lines on a flat, on the on the board, okay. What we've done is we've 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 made a pattern uh, on paper. Anything you wrap around the pipe will work. As you can see, it matches what we drew on the board pretty well. So now I'm going to show you how you put it on your pipe and you lay out your pipe. These runoff tabs here are real handy to hold it together. You put it on your pipe, you take your soapstone, you trace all the way around, which I've already done. When you get done, it should look like this. Next step, you get your torch. You want to start by removing this, the end of the pipe. You want to make sure that you cut all the way around the pipe, maintaining a square cut. You maintain a square cut by pointing the torch to the center line of the pipe at all times. So you're going to cut this all the way off, all the way around. When you get done, and after you clean it up with a grinder, you should look something like this right here. As you can see, make sure you take all the uh, the slag from the inside of the pipe and remove it. You got a seam in the pipe, wherever it is, it's a good idea to, to, to grind that back about three quarters to an inch to make sure that it's not in the well zone when you weld it together. Then you're going to turn it around, you're going to set it wherever your, your hole is going to be for your branch. So you're going to make this, you're going to, you're going to cut the hole for the saddle, so you're going to set it where it goes, take your soapstone, and try to draw as close as the pipe as you can, all the way around. You're going to do this all the way around. So now, you set that aside. As you can see on the board, some, some students uh, sometimes wonder how you get to all these measurements from part uh, step two, which was uh, why is the pipe six and five eighths OD? Where does that come from? How do you get that? So we all know that pipe's based on the ID dimension. So six inch schedule forty wall thickness is two eighty. So a little bit more than a quarter inch, a little bit less than five sixteenths. I tend to I tend to use five sixteenths so that when I draw my next line. Uh, I don't remove too much material. So take the wall thickness, multiply by two, then add the inside diameter to get the outside diameter. Uh, so that being said, get, take you draw a line about five sixteenths of an inch in from the, the outside diameter that we just traced, and you're going to go all the way around. I'm doing this in kind of in a hurry, but you can do a better job. You trace it, make sure you've got got the, the proper 5 sixteenths all the way around the pipe. After you do that, you're going to cut out the hole. You're going to make sure you do not remove the line. Make sure you only cut the in, on the inside, the inside line only. You want to keep the line there, same thing, square cut all the way around, pointing the torch to the center of the pipe at all times. After you drop that out of there, you, you clean up all the slag, make sure it's all good and clean. Do not bevel this piece. You're going to take the first piece you cut, since, you, since you've already traced it, you make sure you trace it first. Make sure you trace that first line. And you take this piece, and now you can bevel it. Only bevel this piece, bevel it all the way around. That way when you set it on here, the ID, of this pipe and that hole should be the same size. So when you weld it up, you should have 100% penetration all the way around without any restriction of hole size. 
when you go to weld it up, you can take take your uh, take your spacer. You want to you want to make that gap where you can get your penetration. When you set that on there, you'll you'll set it on like this. You can set it up good. You want to make sure you tack it, maintain the gap where you can get your penetration all the way around. Uh, different people like a different gap. Three thirty seconds is a good starting spot. Uh, it's not too big. It's not too small. If you're running a little hot, you might want to decrease it. And you know, I wouldn't recommend going much bigger than three thirty seconds because you'll it'll get out of control on you real quick. So now let's look and see what the finished product looks like. So after you uh, get it welded, you see examples over here of a six on six saddle that's been welded up. Looks very nice, very uniform. Uh, it was welded very, uh, very nicely. It's got a nice string of beads that stack all the way around. The inside is real nice. It's got a really good uh, penetration all the way around. And we hope this helps you uh, with your six on six saddle. Thank you very much.